Uh, the reason I decided to work in electrical engineering uh, is just something I've always been interested in and I was lucky enough to find this apprenticeship because I think, don't think there's many of them about at the moment. How I got a job with Arriva was uh, my neighbour is a driver and he saw uh, the apprenticeship advertised and knew I was looking for an apprenticeship and he picked up a form for me and I applied. Uh, the qualifications I look for are um, GCSEs in maths and English which fortunately I have so I was lucky. Um, what's it like working for Arriva? I think, yeah, it is because they've so far they've given me good training, a uh, good environment to work in, and so far I'm enjoying it. I start at six in the morning. I'm normally up at five and out my house by a quarter past and in work for about 20, quarter to six. I've only been working in this garage, but I believe the um, apprentices are moved around different garages like a year at a time. In my apprenticeship, I don't just work here. Uh, 12, 13 weeks of the year, I go to college in Coventry and study PSV electrics. I stay there for a week at a time and uh, the company pay for our travel and accommodation and yeah, it's good fun. Uh, when I finish the apprenticeship, it's uh, MVQ level three and I also um, have to take a bus mechanic school and I believe that gives you a BM certificate as well. Yeah, when I was looking for an apprenticeship, I never imagined myself working on buses. Uh, but yeah, I enjoy it. It's just different, different from working in just motor vehicle industry, working on cars. Out of work, I like to mess about with motorbikes. I enjoy my apprenticeship. Um, it's good in a good environment to work in. I've got a good mentor. Um, studying for a good qualification at college, and yeah, I can see. We're having a good future with Arriva. Uh, it's an interest from a young age, really. Always wanted to get into mechanics or some form of engineering. Has always had an interest of motorbikes, cars, anything with an engine from a young age. Ever I was put off from, say, senior school to getting into that career, because I was told that it was going downhill, that everything was turning into computers, the trade wasn't there, the money wasn't there for mechanics. And it was only after a year or so of working in a warehouse, I suddenly looked into it a bit more and realised that it is still there. And I thought, instead of looking at the cars, why not look bigger scale? Looked into HGVs and buses and coaches and started applying and it's where I am now. <laughs> and I enjoy it, every minute of it. I got my job with Arriva for applying online and checking through the website see the word apprenticeships available, caught my eye, looked into it a bit more and then as well as other companies I then printed off a few application forms, sent them where they needed to go and hope, hoped I would hear here with uh, some good news and I did. And then after that stage I had um, two stages of interviewing from shortlisting down from I think it was 120 applicants down to say 15 and then an even that we went into an intense interview where you had to show your knowledge of engineering, to show you you did have a passion for it and you wanted to learn, and you wanted to learn a bit more about it rather than just wanted a job. They wanted the right people for the job and somehow it was, it was me, and I'm glad it was. <laughs> me, uh, well I live near Basildon and I work in Barking, so I start at say seven. If I'm starting at seven, I'll be up quarter to six. 20 to 6, and then give me time to get up, brush my teeth, quickly throw some, I don't know, tracksuit on for work. So you don't want to come into a work environment in nice clothes, because you, you know oil, everything's dirt, it's all around you. Uh, and then I'm in my car, although since I've been here I've had three cars. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you get out, get out, get in my car, make sure I've got some diesel or petrol in it, make my way down the A13, sit in traffic for a little bit and then I'm in, and then I start at 7 o'clock. No, the training's not just here at all. Uh, for the first year of the course, it's a three-year course I'm on. The first year, I've, um, on a Wednesday, I'll have college. So on the Wednesday, it'll either be I'll drive up to or get the train to Tottenham, uh, Arriva, and I'll be in a classroom, and I'll have a tutor and six or seven other pupils, not all from Arriva, some are from skip firms or whatever, but they're on the HGV course, 
it's a good it's, you get to make new people who want to do the same thing. It's really good. Um, and then that's just that's just a one day a week on the Wednesday. Second year, which I'm on now, is going to be the Thursdays. So on a Thursday I'll go up to Tottenham or either Ponders End is another college, North London Garages we go to. There's, they've got a few classrooms you can learn there. And next month I've got a it's called BM School, BM being Bus Mechanic School. Uh, that's solely a Riva. And then that's an eight week course of straight college. It's something Personally, I would rather be in here with my, I'd rather be hands on, but it's one of the things you need to learn. So I've got to do it, and I will do it, and I'll try and take as much as I can of it in, and hopefully it'll help me when I do come back here in eight weeks' time. Yeah, I'll be, after the three years, I'll be qualified as a level three HGV mechanic, diagnostics fitter, um, which will be great to have under my, under my belt to take with me if I wish to stay at Arriva or move on to something else if I want to change to coaches. However, I do enjoy the work on the buses. It is, it is a good crack with the blokes in here. I like the group of people I work with, so I don't see why I should leave when I finish. Uh, yeah, I think, the company, I think it's a good company to work for. I mean, we've got some very good workers here. We've got a great supervisor who makes sure all the paperwork's up to date. He knows what's going on, so when I get up in the morning, obviously I'd rather lay my head back down and have a sleep than for another good five, ten hours, but you can't, you can't do that. If I want a car, if I want to drive, if I want to go out clubbing, if I want to do whatever I want to do, I need to come in here. And it's not that bad, you have a great laugh with the blokes. They're all here doing the same thing. They've got families to pay for and things, bills to pay. You've got to do it, so you have a good laugh and make the most of it. I got a job for Arriva by applying. One of my friends works for Arriva and he advised me about it. And I applied on a couple of interviews and a couple of tests. Here I am two years later. I'm a second year apprentice going into my third year in about a month's time. The qualifications are required for this apprenticeship is five ATC GCSEs and luckily I had those. Arriva is a very good company to work for as you can progress up the ladder over the years and you have a secure job, something different every day. Uh, getting up in the morning is very hard, I wake up about 5, quarter past 5 or 6.30 start. I think that's the hardest thing of the whole job, getting up in the mornings. Uh, I finish at 2.30 but getting up in the mornings I'm never going to get used to. I think that's the hardest thing. I enjoy my electrical apprenticeship as it's Giving me something different every day. You don't know what you're gonna expect every single day, something different. This morning I was checking batteries and carrying out normal rotor tasks, which is a day-to-day -day basis for me, checking rotors and checking batteries. A rotor is every day, you have about eight to nine rotors, and the V checks and you carry out the task which is found. We get a sheet which the V fills at night, he checks the buses at night, and we do the tasks allocated on the sheet for the, for the bus to be fit for service. I enjoy working here and I think after my apprenticeship finish hopefully I have a job, secure job. <laughs>